G'day everybody. Today we're heading down to Cape Palliser Lighthouse in the Wairarapa, which is the southernmost point of the North Island in New Zealand. And it features a lighthouse and a seal colony. Uh, and I'm hoping to do two things. One is to take a photo of the Milky Way behind the lighthouse. It's probably the last chance I have this year to take a Milky Way photo, given that there's some clear skies and the sun is setting later and later in the evening. Uh, and the second shot is something that I haven't done before, and that's to make an orb with some light painting. Uh, so we'll give both of those a go tonight. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll get there safely and we'll, you'll see me soon. So according to the app photo pills, the sun is going to set around 11 past 8 tonight. The time is only about half past 7, so I've got another 40 minutes. Um, we thought we might do a bit of light painting first. Okay, so I thought I'd use the Z7 II. Uh, and we'll take this lens off and we'll put on a wide angle zoom. So this is the 14 to 24 2.8. I, I quite like this lens because it has this little display panel uh, that you can see things in the dark, such as like where your focus is at. So ideally you can get that to affinity. Um, and it, yeah, pretty helpful for the Milky Way in, at least. Uh, I've got this little light, which I thought I would attach some, some rope to. <laughs> and kind of hook it up that way and swing it around and around. Oh, get that off the lens. Um, it's got sort of a bright dim in the strobe light function to it um, and as a plan B <laughs> I've got another cheap little torch with something to attach the rope to um, and I thought would try perhaps a colour or two um, yeah and to get the colour I thought I'd throw a balloon on the front so who knows how that would go but we'll give that a try uh, and that's that's really it yeah, so we just have to wait for the sun to set a little bit more. And I'm also fairly mindful that we're still like a good 20, 25 minutes away from the lighthouse. Okay, so first we're going to try a bit of light painting. We're going to try and make an orb. Um, so the first thing is holding the string with the light near, nearing the ground uh, around waist level. So that when I swing it, it creates this nice big orb shape. I'm going to keep my elbow close to my body and just really swing with my wrists. And the other thing is I'm going to pick a point on the ground, maybe say like there. So right, maybe there. Yeah, and I'm just going to sort of walk around it as I swing the orb. Nice and easy. So let's give it a go soon. Alrighty, so the idea is once I turn the light on, that's probably a good start. It's going to have a test run. So we're just going to swing it around and try not to let it touch the ground because it will probably break. <laughs> it's that cheap. And then the idea is that we pick a point on the ground and then we move around in the circle, just like so. I think the exposure is supposed to be for two or three minutes, so we might get around the circle you know, two or three times. And that's really the idea. And I've never done this before, so we'll just have to see what shape I get at the end. Apparently some shapes include pumpkin and egg shape. In egg shape. Yeah, cool. And so with that pretty poor demonstration out of the way, um, I'll go and find a spot where I will plant a tripod. Cool, so we're down obviously at Cape Palliser. I don't think you can see the lighthouse from where we are here at the moment, uh, but we'll go and visit that soon. But this is the view. The sun has just gone over the horizon, uh, and we will not be going for a swim in those ways. Gosh.
So I do quite like the look of the hill. And there's like a wee township just over there. So we'll try and take that out of the frame by hiding it behind this little mound of sand. Yeah, we'll go that way. Oh yeah, why not? So we might try about there. So here we just got the little GoPro. We set things up it's just so that we're, as I say, hidden. <laughs> Let's just start there. Gosh, have we got this for a long time? <laughs> uh, so there's a minute. Let's see this. Here we go. Okay, pick a spot, pick a spot, pick a spot. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we'll just have to <laughs> see what happens there. Oh no! Dang. Oh yeah! Got a torch with a blue balloon wrapped onto the end bit like a condom. Yeah, so that's exciting. So this will hopefully make for a pretty much the same picture, different colour. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I think I got the shot that I wanted. We were at about 90 seconds uh, exposure. Eleven. Okay, so I've made it to the lighthouse a few kilometres down the road. Um, we've got about 10 minutes to get up a few hundred stairs. Should be okay. I'll just take a tripod, maybe the light one, uh, and the camera. Yeah, that's probably all I need. Maybe we'll take this little bulb. <laughs> it seems to do pretty well for video light. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you up by the lighthouse. Hmm. Okay, so made it up here to Cape Palliser Lighthouse. Got a few photos, and I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Long exposures, 10 or 8 seconds, and I tried a 15 second one. Uh, so, um, pretty high, like 4,000 or 3,200. Uh, yeah, just wide open aperture. Pretty happy with what I've got. Oh, let's see if I can flip the screen around and show you. Yeah, so you can see the Milky Way. It's right on the horizon. The Manchester Rocks and of course, the lighthouse in the middle. Yeah. There it is. Right there.